Hi guys, uh, my name is Andrew, I'm a medical student and I, a little while ago, was trying to figure out the uh, coagulation cascade. I hate it, you probably hate it too. Um, and I realized I hadn't ever seen a picture of the coagulation cascade that made any sense to me or that I thought I could remember at all. So I kind of came up with my own way to remember it and I hope it helps you as well. I'm just going to start by doing the uh, intrinsic pathway. It's the pathway with the most steps, it has the most factors in it. And I'm um, just kind of branch everything else off from that. Uh, just so you know, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I don't do the steps where it shows, you know, uh, 12 being converted to 12A. I just go an arrow from what's catalyzing the reaction straight to what the product of that is. And that helps me kind of keep all the clutter off. So I'm just going to start with, um, well, like collagen or activated platelets. Um, that's the way I learned it. So either one of those can activate this pathway. I'll put an A for activated. So either of those can activate factor 12 to 12A. Uh, so first step. And I'm just going to keep going with these. Um, 12A catalyzes 11 to 11A. 11A catalyzes the step to 9A. 9A catalyzes the step to 10A. 10A catalyzes the step <coughs> excuse me, to, um, I, I use just the numbers. Um, you might know as a prothrombin to thrombin. Uh, I use 2 to 2A. So this 2A, you'll probably see that in your charts as, uh, as thrombin. And then thrombin, 2A, activates fibrin. Sorry, it activates fibrinogen to fibrin. Fibrin is 1A. And finally, 1A eventually will turn into the stable, stabilized fibrin. Okay, and you, I know you know that that's way too simplified. So let's add in some of the details. Um, first, I'll just add in my little arrows so that we can keep straight where we're going. Um, you know that a couple of these steps require more than just one thing. Um, often you require two factors. So what I do is I just add in those buddy factors, as I kind of think about them, uh, just here on the right side. So eight, uh, eight a is the factor that helps nine a to convert ten to ten a. So I'll just write in eight a, and you know that eight a comes from eight. Ten uh, a in order to convert pro prothrombin to thrombin requires 5A, which of course comes from 5. It's not rocket science. And then 1A, in order to become stabilized, it requires the help of factor 13A. So hopefully, at least for you, I mean, I know for me this is a lot simpler than what I've seen. And this pretty much takes care of... Um, well, a lot of it. I guess we still have a few more details to add in. So 8A, 5A, and 3A, in order to be activated, they actually all require the help of fibrin, which is 2A. So I'm just going to draw, kind of these arrows indicate that, you know, that's what's helping this form. I'm going to draw arrows over here to show that 2A is helping form all of these. 2A, 5A, and 13A. So those ones all require factor, or th thrombin in order to be formed. Um, another thing that you probably need to know is the ones that are uh, requiring calcium. So how I do this is I remember the ones that need calcium to be activated. So um, the product, to get that product, you need calcium. And I give these ones a double circle. It's just how I think about it. So 9A requires calcium to be formed from 9. Same is true for 10 and two. Um, and that, you know, I think that's pretty much, I mean, for a basic starting point, just trying to figure things out, that's pretty much the internal, um, sorry, the whole intrinsic uh, pathway of the coagulation. So the only thing to add now is the extrinsic pathway. Extrinsic pathway comes in and matches up into 10A. There's a different way to make 10A besides using 9A, you can use 7A. And that, I just go over here, 7A, 
In order to make 7A, you also need calcium. So I'm going to give that the same double circle. Give it a little arrow here. And the one last thing is just what activates that, thromboplastin, you've probably heard. Thrombo, I'm just put it into two lines, it's one word. Thromboplastin. Um, and I forgot one step, um, as far as we've been, <coughs> excuse me, we've been giving these guys circles because they require calcium. In order to get the stabilized fibrin from 1A, you need to uh, use calcium there. So I'm going to give this a box as well. So <clears throat> there you have it, a pretty easy way to remember. Um, another little interesting factoid, another reason I like this, is the way it's set up here. Um, all of the ones with the double circle, so not including this, just uh, 7, 9, 10, and 2, these guys are all, you might rec recognize them, they all require vitamin K in order to be produced in the liver, in order to produce that inactive form. So 7, in order to be produced in the liver, would require vitamin K. Um, <clears throat> and that's, uh, I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, or if you've noticed that I did something wrong, or uh, misspoke, just let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll do my best to come up with a better video for you next time. Thanks. Bye.